the session, I was at a crossroads. So there's a, a book by an artist called Being at the Crossroads of Shoulds and Musts. And that's exactly where I was, where um, I should be working full time. I should be a mom that dedicates himself solely to her child. But I had a feeling of I must be doing something else. So coming into the session, I had just quit my job. I had just woken up, quit my job, and decided that I was going to follow a passion or a drive and I couldn't really pinpoint exactly what that was yet or what, what that vision was yet for that drive. The vision that I wanted to create for myself. So I had always seen myself um, speaking and kind of breaking the rules of marketing a little bit. Um, I've always been very passionate about the topics that I speak of and kind of from an early age, very curious about why advertising works and why why people react the way they do to certain things. Um, and even though throughout my career, uh, I kind of just did the status quo, there was always kind of an inner voice that uh, told me that something was wrong. So I used to speak up and I used to cause trouble a lot at work. Um, so I, I kind of saw myself as this troublemaker in the business world and I was very proud of it and I kind of wanted to lean into that a little bit more. But I also wanted to see myself as this troublemaker that actually stems on facts, that knew what they were talking about, an expert in the field. So baking boundaries, breaking, brown, breaking boundaries, but um, with knowledge. The outcome of the photo, so when she showed me the photo, or my portraits, I wasn't shocked by the portraits at all. Um, the first impression I got with them was, was, of course, of course that's what I look like, of course that's who I am. I am that, that sexy, confident businesswoman that doesn't look like a classic business person, but kind of is a little bit of a rebel and knows what she's talking about. Um, so it wasn't, it, it didn't take me back, it didn't shock me, it wasn't something that I wasn't unaware of, but it, it was as if the portrait itself kind of gave me permission to be brave and gave me permission to have the confidence to continue moving forward, uh, almost in a in a more radical way. After the session, it kind of all fell into place where I had a vision, I knew where I was going, I knew what type of person I wanted to become, and then I just knew these were the steps that I needed to take to move forward. And as I would take them, it, it's as if they were coming to life, like people would react to me when I spoke and when I did things. Uh, and they would use words like empowering and inspiring, and they would take action based on what I would say, which always shocked me that they would go and move the, uh, their whole company's thinking based on a two hour meeting with me. So I think what it did was create a clarity of, and a confidence that I can move forward in these paths and that these steps were exactly the steps that I needed to take to continue being this person. When she took the portraits, while we were in the studio, we were having a conversation, obviously, um, and she would trigger me into talking about what, how I see myself and what I'm gonna be doing in the future. And as she's talking to me, I can almost picture myself either on stage or in a boardroom or in a classroom teaching these things and then she would snap the picture and catch me in that moment as I'm speaking and envisioning myself and I am that person it's not that I've become that person I am that person it's just that she needed to catch me in those moments because I feel like what happens is that you kind of get lost in the noise you kind of get lost in everybody else's opinions and, and all the shoulds, that you should be this, you should be that way. Um, so I haven't become anybody except for myself, I think. I'm just a lot more confident in my skin. So I feel like that you need to be searching or in the process of searching or in the process of transition in, in your life that you're aware that you need to make a change, that you know that there's a change, but you kind of feel a little bit um, 
lost or not in touch with yourself. And I think that's a lot of people are feeling that way where everybody's telling you again what you should be, who you should be in this life. And I think what these portraits do is allow you to see yourself, kind of puts you in front of yourself. And once you see yourself, I think you have to you have to acknowledge that and you have to move in a way that allows that person to come to life and to flourish as much as you can. So I believe that anybody who feels a little bit lost that knows that there's a stage that they're going through and kind of needs that, that reinforcement, that picture that says that everything's going to be okay, that this is who you are.